Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we're going to continue on with our little series here of using the Divi Theme Builder. Great new feature of Divi, uh, just been incorporated in Divi 4 here. If you go to your dashboard down Divi, you can hit the Theme Builder button and this is what it will bring up. And these are ones that we've actually been working on here. I'll put the URL to the, all these videos below this video if you want to learn how to do custom headers, footers, bodies, custom footers, etc, etc. Today we're going to design a custom privacy page or privacy policy page. This is the sort of generic one that will pop up. Not very exciting. I'm not going to actually change any of the contact content here. Um, obviously you need to change this to fit whatever you're doing but I'm just going to customize it we're going to change it from looking like this to looking like this with a little subscribe form and a few sale items and a little custom footer on the bottom this is the custom footer that we created yesterday with some uh, vertical menus live Google map and some contact details and I've just tweaked it slightly to blend in with this page so let's get started really easy to do go to our Divi theme builder what I'll do is this is the one I've just created for the privacy policy page so I'm going to just delete that and we'll start from scratch okay simply going to left click add new template I want it on a specific page which is our privacy policy page and it'll show you all of your published pages if I get back on there it'll show you all of your public pages published pages right here there's priv privacy policy so I'm simply going to check that hit the create template and there we are by default it's pulled in the global header and the global footer that we created up here I'm going to get rid of that footer. I'm going to put the custom footer in that we had yesterday, that we built yesterday. Just left click, drag and plop it in there. Now let's add our custom body. I'm going to go up to build custom body. I'm going to go down to build from scratch, hit start building. Okay, what do I want? Well, the first thing I'm just going to put a light color logo in here. But I think before I even do that, well, let's go ahead and do that. I'll, I'll put the row in. I'm going to hit one row, one column. I'm going to go down to image because we want to put an image in there. Simply left click to select the image. There it is. There's our light colored logo. I'm just going to plop that in there. And the only thing I want to do is really is pull it over to the middle of the page. So I'm going to go to Design, Alignment, and hit the middle one right there. That's fine. OK. Now before I do anything else, I want to put a background into our section here to make it look. I want it real contrasting like you saw with a sort of image in the background with a sort of dark motif going on. So I'm going to go to the section. The blue tab is for the section. Green tab is for the row and the dark tab is for whatever module you put in there let's hit the cog on the section and go to background i'm going to go to image i'm going to hit background image and i just downloaded a sort of fashion picture from unsplash.com great place for stock photos if you need them free stock photos there it is select it Okay, so it's in the background there, that's fine. I don't want to use a parallax effect. I'm going to leave it to cover. Center's fine, I don't want it to repeat. Image blend, I'm going to play with that in a little while. But while I'm here, I'm going to also add a background color so we can darken up this picture here. And I'm going to use, well, we've been using purple for everything on here, so I'm going to use purple, I guess. But I'm going to take it down so it's very dark. And you can't see any change there. We have got an image and a color there. So let's just 
leave that as it is and go back to the image left click let's pop down and now let's play with some of these blend modes I think the one that I really want is probably going to be either multiply or screen as you can see when I put it on multiply there it's just showing the color um, but I'll go through a couple more of these play with these because you can get some fantastic effects um, color dodge difference there really are some great ones just find something that works for you for me I'm going to use that multiply and as you can see it's it's like we've got no image there so we want that image to come through but I want it to be dark enough for the writing to stand out I'm going to make the writing light in color so let's go back to our color what I'm going to do just click on the black or color whatever it is or whatever color you decide to put in there I'm going to start pulling the right hand slider down that's for the opacity or the see-throughness if you will the more you pull it down the more you're going to see that image start to bleed through so I'm going to leave it just like that you can see the image but it's nice and contrasting with light colored text so let's leave that just like that let's check the little box here now I want to use the existing content where is it that's our one that we did just now here's the original I want to use this existing content I don't want the sidebar you may want the sidebar you can put one in with Divi just add what you want now to use the existing content we need to put it in a post content module so I'm going to just add a new module it's this little button right here add new module and by default Divi comes with all these modules of standards it's everything you need to get just about any kind of website built they've just added 16 new WooCommerce widgets or modules here if you're building any sort of WordPress site at all I do suggest you check out Divi it just keeps getting better and better with more features and it's easier to use if you want to take it for a test run you can do so from my affiliate link below this video so I'm going to add the post content module left click boom, there it is and as we've mentioned before you might be looking at this saying well that's my blog post I don't want my blog posts in here why would I want that but it's not it's just going to pull whatever it is we've assigned it to that uh, privacy policy page so it's going to pull in the content from the privacy policy page okay so I want to go in there and I want to change I want to make all our all of our writing light in color and all of our headings very simple to do let's go to the cog I'm going to go to design I'm going to go to text I'm going to change that to white and I'm also going to go to our links any links on the page I'm going to change those to the white as you can see they're disappearing in this default white background and now I'm just going to change the heading text so if, if we close that one up left click go to heading text simply go through h1 h2 I don't know what's on this page so I'm going to do all of them just takes two seconds to do each one there we go heading one looks like I might have missed that one there we go okay and uh, image and that little purple line I'm not worried about that at all so all I'm going to do is save that I'm going to add a little bit of spacing top and bottom and we'll take a look at what we've got so far so I'm going to shut up the head I'm going to shut the heading text go down to spacing and let's give it say 50 pixels top and bottom I'm going to just put 50 it'll put in the pixels for you hit the chain and it'll do the opposite side for you at the moment I don't think I'll do any left and right but like I say let's save and see what we've actually got so hit the little check mark there purple button over to the right hand side save the page changes once saved just X out there it is we've got to go at the top make sure we save the changes on our theme builder page here now if I go to the 
privacy policy that's the old one when i refresh it should bring the new one in so there won't be any contact form or sales items but pretty much everything else should be there so let's refresh there we go and as you can see that writing stands out pretty well if you think the the image is still too much behind there just pull that opacity back a little bit i think i might do that and here's that custom footer we did yesterday i'd like to make that darker just on this page so it blends in with that a little bit better so we'll do that as well so let's go back into our theme builder custom body I'll go in and take that opacity up just a little bit so that image is just a little bit dark. You do exactly what you need to do. Clicking on the color. I'll pull that up a little bit more so it just goes a little bit darker. That's fine. Okay, we've got our little privacy policy. As I say, I'm not going to edit the text there. You edit it to what works for you. Okay, I'm going to add a new little row, the green button here, and let's add a form. Again, I'm just going to have one column. And let's go and add a contact form. There it is. And it's plopped it in by default. I'm going to make this a sort of subscriber form, so I really don't need a message field. All I want is a name and an email address. So let's just delete the message field. And we'll give it a title. Let's say. Uh, whatever you want to say let's put it in there it's a little difficult to see but we will change the color of that the success message that when they submit this will say thanks for subscribing submit button um, let's have it say subscribe today As you can see, it's changed it there. I really don't want to capture on here. Um, you do get a lot of spam, but if it's just a name and an email address, it's unlikely to get a lot of spam with that, really. You always put it back on if you need to. So next one, we've got to put in an email address. Well, this is a fictitious store, so let's say subs at diviwoo.com. Obviously, you're going to want to put in the email address that you want this form sent to. Elements, I'm going to get rid of that capture. Like I said, I don't need it. That's fine. Redirect, if you want it to redirect to a page once they submit, just enter, put that in there. But I don't for this. That's absolutely fine. I want it to stay there and they'll just get their uh, thanks for subscribing message. You go to the design and you can do all these fields customized, but I'm going to leave mine exactly like that. That works for me. And the reason my button is purple and yellow, lovely, is because that's the way I've got them set in my theme customizer. I guess I'll just show you for anybody that doesn't know what's going on there. If you go down to Divi, theme customizer. You look down there, you've got buttons just under general settings there. Button style. I've got mine purple and yellow, extremely ugly, but uh, there you go. And you can set a hover style, so when you're hovering over them, it'll be different. So that's why those buttons are appearing, that, that color. So you customize yours, obviously, however you want them. And you can do it individually. You can actually do it in this module as well if you want to. You can just customize the styles right there. Okay, so what else do I want to do? I want to make that subscribe to day text stand out because you can barely read it. So that's title text. Let's go down. I'm going to just make that white for simplicity. I'm going to put it in the middle. Now um, I want to give this a background, so it's so it's just slightly off offsets. I know we've got that pretty dark at the moment, but I'll give it a background so it's just slightly different from what's going on there. So we'll go to our content. Go to background. I'll pop black in there. 
just barely see that actually because we've got it so dark at the moment but I'll leave that just as solid black and what I'm going to do is add a bit of padding all around so it's not all squished up against the sides and the top so if we go back to our design we can go to spacing and let's try let's say give it 30 pixels all around so 30 hit the chain and let's try 30 over here also 30 hit the chain it'll do the opposite one there we go that's got a bit of breathing room now top and bottom we could even give it a bit more let's leave it at 30 for the sides and make it 50 for the top and bottom as you can see I just did the one it automatically did the other one that's okay now that black I'm gonna take the opacity just down slightly so it's just slightly opaque you can just slightly see something through there but I, I still want it to remain so if I take it all the way down it's gone there something like that so it's it's there you could put a board around it if you want I'm not going to do that that's fine what else do we want here well let's add a new row and I'm going to put the Divi fantastic shop module in it again one column I'm going to hit the shop module there we are shop I love that little module I'm going to say sale products just so we can get eyeballs on some of the products that you want to sell if they happen to look at this page there it is it's put them in already um, product count I'll just leave it as is I don't think I've even got 12 column layout that's fine as four default sort I'm going to leave that exactly as it is only thing I really want to do is make our titles and prices stand out so let's go to our design title text let's make that white put it in the middle bring it up in size just a bit oh not too much but there we go and let's change the price text also underneath here's the price text we're on design tab price text I'm gonna make those green I'm gonna make those centered and I'm gonna pull them up just a little bit in size at two that's fine the only other thing I want to do is I'll give this a bit of padding top and bottom just so it's got a little more breathing room for the form on top so we're still on the design tab let's go to spacing and let's say 50 pixels maybe too much I don't know we can always adjust it check that top and bottom okay so let's save that and see what we've actually got now hit the little check mark little put button hit the save to save the page changes once saved X out make sure we save our theme builder settings now let's go to that page here it is uh, before we did that we haven't got our uh, form and our little shop module in there and I don't like the color of that we'll change that so let's refresh and see what those changes did for us there we go it made that image slightly darker in the background because we took the opacity back up a little bit if we scroll down there's our little sub form that people can fill out and down below is that little shop module so I'm gonna leave that just like that fantastic and these will obviously take take them to the uh, products I think I'll change those sale badges to purple actually just to keep in line with the sort of purple motif we got going on and this to me is way too light I don't like that I'm gonna make this a lot darker and we can do it just for this page which is which is fantastic so let's go back to our theme builder just going to make that quick tweak to the sale badges on the shop module scroll on down where we want to be while it's loaded when it's loaded here's the shop module just going to click on the cog one simple change here sale badge text sale badge color there we go it just fits in line with the other things we've got going on here obviously you're going to want to do that exactly how you want to do it 
quickly save those changes. Now let's work on that custom footer that I think is way too light for me at the moment. Once saved, just X out. Here's the custom footer that we pulled from over here. Hit the little edit button there, the little pencil or whatever it is. And here it is. And it's the background for this section we're going to want to edit. And I'm going to want to make that a lot darker. So let's go in there, cog, simply to the background. This top, this is the top part of the gradient. I'm going to make that pretty much black. So it's almost going to be black. So right about way down there, not quite black, but almost black. And this one I'm going to take down to just not quite so much. So I still want a bit of difference between that black bottom bar and the top of here and slight difference between the two colors. There we go. There's that one. There's that one. There is a bit of difference there. So it is gradiated. That's fine. Notice there is that DV shot slightly out of alignment there. I think it's because we changed the line height of the text. So let's quickly fix that. Save our section settings. And to do that, we need to go into this module itself, which is this one right here, little cog. So what I'm going to do is make that line height more so this line drops down. And then I'll just change the custom padding we had on there. And if you want to see how we did this have a look at yesterday's video the URL will be below this video so let's go to uh, we're in there and I can just hit that little paintbrush icon to take me to that element I want to edit which is the H4 so let's increase the line height so I've got to take that up a little bit and now I can go into the custom CSS where we put the padding or margin on the uh, margin on the top of that and change it. So let's go to advanced custom CSS scroll down. There's that bit of custom CSS margin top 10 picks. So let's change that to perhaps two picks and see what happens. That is pretty much bang on. In fact, I'm going to leave it just like that. That line's pretty much in line with that. That's centralized now. Fantastic. Let's just save that. Save the changes here, a little purple button. Save on the right. Exit out. Make sure we saved our theme builder changes. Now let's take a look at this page and it should be complete. There's what we had. Let's refresh. And there it is. I think that looks a lot better darker like that. You could probably even take it down a little bit more, but I'm going to call that done. That looks better there. There's our shop module with our purple sale badges, our little subscribe today form, and all this junk about privacy policy. Like I say, you're going to want to put in your custom stuff there. So there you have it. There is how to customize your privacy policy page or pretty much any other page you want to using the existing content. So I hope you found that useful and enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this is Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.